Today, we are breaking down a sales presentation that I did to a prospective e-commerce client. Last week, we reached out to 53 people with personalized video and a chatbot. We are starting to get responses on that. And today, I initially had two sales calls, but one of them rescheduled. The one call that we did went pretty well, in my opinion. We haven't closed the deal yet, but they were really positive about the possibilities and the deliverables itself. I did ask the prospective client whether it's okay to edit this interview and publish it on YouTube, but they said no. So I still want to bring you this presentation so it would help you in your sales calls as well. As you can see, we started with AI chatbot for e-commerce store and it's great news that they are e-commerce store because we have that initial KPI where the chatbot that I made previously is saving anywhere from 60 to 80 percent on customer support time. That helped a lot. When it comes to dream outcome for the chatbot, we discussed having it in two stages, a version one and a version two version will have these two outcomes making it easy for your customers to find what they're looking for with a smooth and intuitive shopping experience they had anywhere from 60 to 70 products and they are well over 300 to 500 word product descriptions with a chatbot let's say they're a company that sells clothing when they have a lot of these products on their website they cannot add all the filters right if they have a chatbot on their website the customers ask them okay what are all the jackets that has sun protection or good in rain then the chatbot will go through that knowledge base give all the products that has the feature that the customer is looking for this is huge outcome two: get answers to any question in seconds even if you have a product description that is thousand words long these products have descriptions and each product have tons of reviews and they had previously asked questions about the product we plan on including everything in the knowledge base so the bot is capable of answering almost any question that has been asked previously the outcome four is on version two outcome three is still in version one which is automating lead capture, offering specific coupons based on questions. This is already a feature that I've built in my previous chatbot. When a person asks a question about a product, we will then offer a coupon in exchange for the email. And the coupon itself is tailored and specific to the question that they ask. Once they give that email, we subscribe them to an email sequence or send it to a CRM. We have so many options there. And version two of the bot outcome four is actually for their reviews and customer support tickets, which is evaluating customer reviews, tickets, tagging them, responding to time sensitive ones, forward them to appropriate customer service department for further assistance. This can make a tremendous difference in the customer service because a person cannot go through hundreds of reviews every day and pick ones that are time sensitive. Imagine having an AI where it accurately tags and responds to time sensitive comments saying, we regret that you faced this inconvenience. Someone in the team will get back to you. If not, you can always reach to this email or this phone number that will be a huge value add if you are getting value from this like this video and subscribe to my channel to follow along with my journey next we talked about the benefits of ai chatbot availability it's obvious services are available 24 7 for the benefit of both your team and your customers we cannot have a dedicated customer service step round the clock right it's be, it'll be too expensive and e-commerce stores these days are shipping all over the world so it's important to have that availability and smart ai can access all the data provided in the knowledge base and this include what i just said product descriptions reviews questions that have been asked previously support tickets that have been cleared 
everything. Efficiency, get quick responses to avoid keeping your customers in waiting. This is also really important, having someone to answer quick because all of these questions, most of these questions are asked and answered. Don't need a human to come in and answer all of these questions. Lead gen, automatically collect the leads on your website, additional automation available, sending leads to CRM, subscribing to email com campaigns, we already discussed that. Next, we discussed about development process. Initial consult. To start, we will gather information about your needs, goals, and tech stack. Business owners can have really huge expectations and it's important to make sure we are on same page as to what the deliverables are with the chatbot and the automation. Next, we have data processing. In many cases, data you have may not be clean. However, we will process it thoroughly to ensure there are no red flags or brand inconsistencies. This is important. Some of the content may be sensitive or oftentimes when it comes to reviews or complaints, this stuff is really important to check. Prompt engineering. During this stage, we will assist you in creating the best prompts or you can share the screen recording of each step and click you want what you need to automate. This is important guys because prompts are something that can make or break a chatbot. It's really important that a subject matter expert comes up with this prompt. It's night and day. Everyone has access to same tools and what you set a, a prompt template or a system prompt will make a lot of difference. And the process that we are trying to automate, client can say one thing, we may understand a different thing, but if they record every single step that they are trying to automate, every mouse click, it would make things a lot easier moving forward. Next, designing the chatbot. In this stage, chatbot's conversation flow is developed and its personality is tweaked to reflect your brand's identity. Again, it goes back to a bit of prompt engineering. Once we have the prompts down, we need to make sure we choose the right tools to begin with. For example, what is the size of their knowledge base? Do we need to use a Slack AI or Flowwise AI or is it voice flow or bot press? And we also make need to make sure where are all the places that they want to integrate this tool because WordPress right now offers a lot of integrations over 17 places WhatsApp, Messenger, Instagram a lot so it's important to get this step right. Testing and deployment we will work together to test the chatbot and ensures it performs well in various scenarios. Once the testing is successful the chatbot will be integrated into your systems. Again, this is straightforward. We need to make sure that the client is involved in this testing process. You need to test it thoroughly, try some trick questions, try to break it as much as possible. That way you know that it's working well. And finally, we have maintaining the chatbot. The knowledge base is updated and maintained regularly. Additionally, any questions and answers that the bot was unable to address are added. This is straightforward. There are always new questions that would come up and new products that they will sell. We need to keep updating the knowledge base. That is the presentation. Hope it was helpful. And if you are an e-commerce business and you want to implement something like this in your business, feel free to book a discovery call with me for my AI automation rockstars. If you want this presentation, to tweak it to your niche, you can find that in the templates down below. And if you don't know about the free chatbot that I built for my client, you can watch this video next.